the Fujifilm MX1200 as a camera back from 1999. So 20 years on, what kind of photos can we get out of it? This one's a challenge, as there isn't a lot to work with here. The camera comes with a 1.3 megapixel sensor with a fixed ISO rating of 125 and a fixed focal length of 38mm. There is a 2x digital zoom however, but please just don't use it. There are also restrictions when it comes to aperture, with only f4.5 or f11 available, and these are chosen automatically. Shutter speed comes in at 1 quarter of a second up to 1 750th, so capturing fast moving subjects isn't going to be easy. On the plus side, the MX1200 comes with an optical viewfinder, and that's not something you get with many compact cameras these days. It's probably just as well because the tiny low resolution screen on the back is next to useless, either composing or reviewing your shots. Another positive is this uses AA batteries, which are plentiful and you're not going to have to worry about finding a charger. Although the camera does come with a manual mode, the only control available to play with is some exposure compensation and white balance. Being a chunky camera, it's quite easy to hold and use, and with limited buttons to press, learning how to use it is simple as just pushing the shutter button. Storage is another major downside of the MX1200, as it uses smart media, and trying to find these cards new and unmolested is all but impossible. And with a maximum file size of 128 megabytes, it's probably just as well the file sizes are small. With limited dynamic range, processing images soon reveals a lot of noise when putting up the shadows, so images can end up looking a little mushy. Most of the shots taken here look better in black and white, but bear in mind, you're only going to be working with JPEGs, no raw files with this camera. Getting the files off the camera is another major hurdle, with the camera only supporting RS-232 serial. Try finding a laptop these days with one of those connectors. So is this a camera you'd want to use today? In a word, no. Unless you really want to set yourself up for a photography challenge. After 20 years of technology advances, this camera truly feels like a dinosaur. And it's perhaps better off in a museum rather than around your neck. Thanks for watching and join me next time for another slice of ancient combat cameras.